the government appearing to spend excessively. How do you, you know, you know, <laughs> back on the excesses of the you government? See, Your own economic advisor, David yeah. Day, has said it publicly. He's gotten into government and he's seeing there's excessive. And De David, David is speaking the truth, and that is why we have cut down on unnecessary expenditure. That's why we were able to reduce the budget by 300 billion. That's why in this year's budget, we've been able to reduce from, instead of borrowing 1.1 trillion like the former regime, we are now going to bring it down to 600, those numbers you read, 660 something. So we are responsible. Okay. You know, you're, you're telling me you increased uh, 90 million that was borrowed by State House. You know, yes. you know what used to happen. The office of the of the deputy president had been shut. You know, so if you have to reinstate the operations of the office of the deputy president, when I was there, you know what happened. You know, the office was. Mm -hmm. I was paying from my own pocket fuel for my cars. I was paying for tea in my office. I was paying for uh, allowances for uh, my drivers and everybody. It was not fair. But you see. I respect my deputy. I want my deputy to run uh, his show. And I want my deputy to uh, work in an office that works. My deputy is very busy. Today, he can hardly have time. <clears throat> he is permanently in the office because I have assigned him responsibilities. For example, I assigned him the responsibility of making sure that no Kenyan dies. He was sitting on it with the development partners, with other Kenyans and no Kenyan died because of Kukosa Chakula. Because when you, re when you get people to help you work, work becomes easier and work becomes better. Now,